Wisconsin MP has apologized for breaking COVID-19 quarantine rules after traveling the length of the country twice by train while suffering from the virus. SNP MP Margaret Ferrier admitted traveling from her home in Scotland to London after experiencing symptoms and she admits bringing the virus into Parliament on Monday when she took part in a debate on the COVID-19 pandemic. Then, after testing positive for the virus, she travelled back to Scotland from London without seeking advice. Ms Ferrier was suspended from the SNP following her admission, SNP Westminster leader Ian Blackfoot said. I have spoken with Margaret Ferrier this evening who fully accepts that what she did was wrong. Margaret will be referring herself to the Parliamentary Standards Commissioner as well as the police. I am tonight suspending the whip from Margaret. The admission comes after Boris Johnson's father, Stanley Johnson was photographed failing to wear a mask in a shop. And Jeremy Corbyn apologized for attending a dinner party of nine people, in breach of the rule of six. In a statement, Ms Ferrier said, There is no excuse for my actions. She explained that she had experienced mild symptoms on Saturday afternoon and had taken a COVID-19 test that day. By Monday, she said, she felt much better. I then travelled to London by train on Monday to attend Parliament as planned. This was wrong, and I am very sorry for my mistake. She received a positive test result that evening before travelling home by train the following day. This was also wrong, and I am sorry. I have been self-isolating it at home ever since. Ian Murray, Labour's shadow Scottish secretary said, This is astonishing recklessness from an SNP MP, which has put people's health at risk. Through her irresponsible actions, she very possibly has passed on the virus to a vulnerable person, who may now have COVID-19 and be in danger. She has put passengers, rail staff, fellow MPs, common staff and many others at unacceptable risk. To breach the rules twice is simply unforgivable and has undermined all the sacrifices made by her constituents. Nicola Sturgeon must come out and condemn her MPs' actions and tell the Scottish people what disciplinary action she will be taking. There cannot be one rule for Margaret Ferrier, another for everybody else. Ms Ferrier went on to say she had informed both the House of Commons authorities and the police of her actions. Despite feeling well, she said, I should have self-isolated while waiting for my test result and I deeply regret my actions. I take full responsibility and I would urge everyone not to make the same mistakes that I have and do all they can to help limit the spread of COVID-19. Ms Ferrier was a vocal critic of Boris Johnson advisor Dominic Cummings after he broke self-isolation rules to travel from London to Durham. She told the Daily Record in May. Dominic Cummings' actions have undermined the sacrifices that we have all been making in lockdown to protect each other from coronavirus. His position is untenable and he must be removed from his post now. The fact that Boris Johnson and senior Tories have backed Dominic Cummings in the face of widespread and understandable public anger demonstrates a total failure of leadership at a time of national crisis. The public health advice is crystal clear. For the safety of others, anyone with coronavirus symptoms must self-isolate, in line with government guidance. They should not leave the house for any reason. 
Anyone who needs help during periods of self-isolation should make use of the support offered through local authorities, which is open to anyone who needs it. Close quote.